Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker with Tools. Tonight we are gonna be revisiting a drill that we've already featured on the channel, but this time we're gonna be comparing it to its bigger, badder brother. So let's get into that on Tinker with Tools. So previously on the channel, we talked about the DCD-996 in our video called David versus Goliath in which we compared the brand new DCD-800 XR drill driver to its bigger brother, the DCD-996, the bigger three-speed XR drill driver that has been on the market for about seven years now. This is a very reliable, decently powerful tool, but in those seven years, a lot has changed and a lot has happened and so other tools have actually passed it up now. Previously, about two years ago, DeWalt kind of saw the same thing, and so they came out with this, the DCD-999, the FlexFold Advantage Hammer Drill. Now, on the outside, these tools look just about the same. There are some subtle differences, but for the most part, they look like the same tool on the outside. But DeWalt is actually promising 42% better performance when paired with a FlexFold Advantage battery. Specifically in that claim, they mentioned the six amp hour that comes with this in the kit. Now we're gonna go ahead and test it against the DCD-996, and we're gonna go ahead and figure out, is it worth the upgrade to the DCD-999, and do you really see that 42% more performance? So let's get into that. All right, so we are first going to be dr running through our driving tests. We're gonna do five driving tests, and then we have five drilling tests. So let's get into it. We are first going to be testing the DCD-996. Has a fully charged five amp hour battery. We are going to be starting in speed three in drill mode. Then I'll follow that up with the FlexFold Advantage hammer drill. Also going to be in speed three in drill mode. And this one is using a fully charged FlexVolt Advantage 6 amp hour battery. Okay, first the 996 on a 5 inch specs. And now we have the 999. I'll give you my impressions once we get onto a bigger fastener. And now we are going with the 996 on a 6 inch specs. DCD 999. Now a 5 inch power lag with the DCD 996. And now the 999 with All right. 996 with a five inch timber lock in three, two, one. 999, five inch timber lock. As, as we're moving up to larger fasteners, the speed and power difference is felt in these two drills. Okay, 996, eight inch timber lock. Made the assumption that this was long enough to drive eight inch fasteners in two. So I'm pretty certain I just put a timber lock into my workbench. But the show must go on. 999, eight inch timber lock. On that one, I could feel the difference of the power kicking in there. It's just much stronger. So first we're gonna be doing a Diablo one inch spade bit. We're starting once again with the 996. We are still in speed three. All right, now with the one inch spider bit with the 996. All right, one inch spider with the 999. Now we're gonna switch over to the four by four. All right, so now with the, with the inch and a quarter spider self-eating spade, going through the four by four. Okay, we did get a cut out. We're gonna go to speed two to try and finish. That is one advantage of the DeWalt drill. It is big, it's a little bit older. The ergonomics, because of the size, just aren't quite as nice as some of the newer drills. And I know the FlexFold Advantage is new, but the housing that it's in is essentially the same. Because it is a bigger drill, they've crammed an extra gear in there, and it really does make a difference on some demanding tasks to not have to drop all the way down to speed one. So that is kind of nice. On the 999, we are still in speed three.
Okay, all the way through, way to go. All right, just so you can't say we didn't give it every chance, we are back up in speed three, and we are going to give this a go on the inch and a half. All right, it did instantly cut out, so we're going to speed two. Three, two, one. It is not happy in speed two. As you saw there at the end, wrestling with this drill with the smaller handle is, is no fun. Now we are still in speed three on the flex fold advantage, go. Okay, got a cut out, gave it a second trigger pull. It did not want to do it. So now we are gonna start in speed two with the 996. Okay, it instantly was not happy there. Speed one in three, two, one. Inch and three quarter Irwin bit in speed three with flex fold advantage in three, two, one. All right, so from those tests, I think it's safe to say that we did see quite a performance gain in there. I don't have the results in front of me right now, so I can't tell you if it was exactly 42% or not, but I will tell you that there were tests that the flex fold advantage was able to do that the DCD 996, the original XR3 speed hammer drill, simply was not or had to drop down into lower gears to be able to do them at the same time. So you're gonna see an improvement in time. You do feel a noticeable improvement in power. But what if you run the DCD 999 on that same five amp hour battery that we've been running the 996 on? Do you see the same numbers or do you actually see a performance gain even on the same battery generation over generation? So let's go ahead and take those tests now. All right, so we are gonna start first with our two spec screws, then our power lag, and then the two timber locks just for these driving tests. We're gonna go pretty quick tonight. One. All right, it was through at the end of that second pull. We are gonna start a new hole on speed two. We are gonna go for broke here and put it back into speed three for the inch and three quarter. Sometimes I see drills have an easier time on this bit than on the inch and a half spade. All right, because I don't wanna make another giant hole we're gonna go to speed two now. Okay. It's struggling considerably in speed. All right, so as you saw with those tests, you do get a power bump from this. I'll have to put it on camera exactly how much percent it was. Just like DeWalt claimed, they're right. It does get a huge bump. So when it comes down to which of these tools would I recommend you buy, it gets a little bit trickier. If you already own the 996, it still is a great drill. It's just getting a little older. So when we start talking about upgrading this tool, it might be worth your time to wait and see if DeWalt comes out with something better later in the year. I've heard some rumors of a replacement to these two tools, and if they can take this package, make it smaller, give it that power, and even maybe a little bit of a bump more, I think you're really on to something there. There are features that are not in this drill that you are going to get with other flagship drills like Makita, like Milwaukee, like Flex at this point. They're newer tools, and so even though they bump the power in this, you're still dealing with the same form factor and same lack of certain features like anti-rotation or anti-kickback, you're not going to have that in there. And so while this is a robust, powerful drill that I think is going to be able to get the jobs done, 
you are going to give up some of the creature comforts and maybe some of the ergonomics due to some of the weight and size that you're going to be dealing with. It's a big drill, but it will get job done. Now, when it comes to other differences between these two, the handle is going to be one of the biggest differences and one of the things that they had to address with it. This is the handle for the 996. It is almost three to four inches shorter, well, probably about three inches shorter than the handle on the 999. When you compare it to other hammer drills, the auxiliary handle, it is comically small and it actually makes it kind of feel like it's not even worth having on there. So with the 996, this thing is trash. If you could find an aftermarket or a replacement version of the 999 one, might be worth upgrading there. Now, the other thing to consider is that Lowe's does actually have the, also their own model of drill that does give you a boost in power when used with a certain power. I'm talking about the DCD-998, the power detect model, which is sold exclusively at Lowe's as far as I understand. That one, when paired with an eight amp hour battery, does get a bump in power. Depending on which review you watch, that drill has actually beaten the flex volt advantage in certain tests. When it came down to me, I needed a flex volt battery, so I ended up going with the flex volt advantage over the power detect. But I think if you purchased either one of them, you're going to get a similar boost in power using a bigger battery. That one you do have to use, I believe it's the eight amp hour XR battery. So it's not a flex volt battery and you're not necessarily going to get that bump with the flex volt. But when you pair it with those more modern XR batteries, you are gonna see a bump in power and that is something to consider as well. So when it comes down to it, DeWalt made good on their claims of giving you more power with the flex fold advantage. It takes an older drill with aging ergonomics. It gives it the kick in the pants it needs to still compete with the new generation of drills that are coming out with more power and just more everything than this drill. And I will say the three speed transmission is kind of awesome. So having that speed too, where you're gonna get 1500 RPMs compared to the 2000 you get in drilling mode, you do have kind of a nice middle ground that still offers plenty of speed or good speed, but does give you a little bit more torque, which you need to kind of complete those trying tasks. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it informational. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. If you like the video, please smash that like button. It really does help the video get out in front of more people. And if you want to, go ahead and share it with someone you know that may be looking at these drills and trying to decide. If you want to keep seeing more videos from Tinker Tools, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to mark the bell icon so you can get notified when I post new content. Thanks for watching, and this has been Tinker with Tools. I'll catch you next time.